Hello Leo, welcome to another Timeless General Love Reading. Thank you for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that it can circulate for others. Um, it is general, keep that in mind. It's definitely not going to resonate with all of you. It's a really good idea, whether it does or doesn't, to check your moon and rising signs as that gives you a much bigger, more well-rounded view of the time period. When you are drawn here because it's timeless, that is when you're meant to see the messages. And the messages, the reading, will be good for about four to six weeks out. Keep in mind that time is an illusion. It doesn't actually exist. So what messages come through now could be in effect six months from now. You maybe have already gone through it. Good timing. Here we go. Okay. First card out. Six of Pentacles. And you have the Six of Swords. Ooh, Prince of Wands. Four of Swords, Princess of Cups. Now that card is in the center position, meaning that it is part of your overall energy combined with the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups, nice. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, the star card. Another good one. Wow. And in the outcome position, Seven of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck and part of your overall energy, Four of Cups. Okay, so let me take a minute to take a look at your cards, get a feel for the energy and any messages coming through. Okay, Leo, the message that's coming through. Um, first of all, I guess what I want to do is go over your overall energy. Princess of Cups in this deck, which is um, Apocalypse Tarot, the Princess of Cups. <clears throat> is the goddess of soul and that combined with, is combined with the four of cups for your overall energy now this is very much about going within it's it's almost like the hermit card it's about following through with your soul's intentions your soul's guidance um, listening to your inner guidance system. You're being guided for sure. And the overall energy here is you're in a place where everything has become so routine that you're bored. It's not what it once was. This, I feel it's in regards to a love relationship because you do have the Two of Cups here. But if you look at this lady's face in the card, she's reflecting. She's reflecting on what has been. But in the meantime, there's a beautiful gift being handed to her and she's not seeing it. So your soul is trying to gift you with something, but you're not aware of it because you're in this position here. You're in this energy here of you're reflecting on the past. Did I make a mistake? Did I move in the wrong direction? You're trying to go within and figure things out, but you may be... Um, 
pinched off from your inner guidance system. This position here, the beginning of the spread, that's where you're at-ish because time doesn't exist. So like I said earlier, this could be where you're at. You could be moving into this place. Maybe you've already been here, right? It depends on timing and, and your situation. This is where you're headed, where you want to head, where you should head, regardless. It's your outcome. And then like I said, these two are your overall energy. All the other cards are your journey from point A to point B, basically. Um, you're in a place of feeling like you've been doing all the giving. And you don't want to be there anymore. You want, you want to move in a, a different direction. You want to shift things so that there can be reciprocity. Now the Prince of Wands is the God of Conflict. So there has been or there is about to be conflict. You know, it depends on where you're at, like I said. But for me, it feels like you not wanting to be in this state of doing all the giving and wanting to move out of that into a new direction or transition into a new phase of reciprocity is causing or has caused conflict. Four of Swords is all about taking a step back, taking a pause from the situation. And if you look at, at the picture here, the dog has gone to sleep, or the wolf, or whatever that is. She has one sword in her hand, the Ace of Swords. She's got three behind her that she has plunked into the ground, so brokenhearted because the Three of Swords is all about broken heart. It can also represent separation, a broken heart because of separation due to the ending of a situation or work. Work can take us away from our loved ones and that that breaks us, breaks our heart, that kind of separation. But do you see the the flames in the background there? It's got the shape of a person. It's, it's like she's battled. She's at a point now where she's tired. She's exhausted. She's taking a break. She's contemplating what's taken place in her life to this point. And just not sure of where things stand in this partnership. It can, you can be successful in shifting this into what you want to shift it into. The Nine of Pentacles is very much a card of, it speaks of success due to your own uh, ambition, determination to make it work. You can make it work. You can make your dreams and your wishes come true. There is hope. Because the Seven of Cups in this deck is all about your dreams and your desires and your imagination. Whatever you desire, there is hope. Now, you know, whatever it is you desire, it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you may want out of this partnership. Some of you are out of the partnership and want back in. You know, this Four of Swords can represent a breakup, a break in the situation, separation. So you are contemplating, you're reflecting on the relationship. You know you can make it successful. Question is, do you want to? You've done all the giving up to this point. And you don't want to be the majority 
you don't want to do the majority of the work anymore. Um, I do want to clarify some things here. Okay, let's, boy, where do I start? Um, hmm. Let's start with the Four of Swords, Angels. Why is the Four of Swords here, please? Why is there a break here? Whoa, okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny that that happened because these three flew out first, and my guides know that I take three cards at most, but obviously they wanted a fourth card, so they flung that out last, and it is upside down. So I'm going to, I don't do reversals, but when the cards fly out like that, and they spin around and become a reversal, it's meant to be, so I leave it. First card out is the Empress. Yeah, this is kind of like the Six of Swords. This is a transition. It's a rebirth. It's, um growth. Now this could be for some of you. It could represent a pregnancy. It could represent one of you wanting a baby and maybe this is the conflict. For others it's she's a very nurturing, caring, giving individual and that's the energy around this card and so this could represent you, Leo. This could be where you're coming from. It could just be that this is transitioning. It needs to transition, and that's the Four of Swords here. We already know you're transitioning because that's the Six of Swords. This this relationship or and or you going through a transition period. And the Page of Wands. Pages are messengers, and this one is all about good news coming in very quickly. This feels very much to me like you wanting to hear what you want to hear. Whatever that is. Maybe you wanting to find out that this, you know, if there's somebody else that you want to transition toward, maybe you're hoping to hear something good from them. Maybe you're hoping to get an answer from them. But I feel most, I feel that most of you, this is a situation that you are in that you would like to stay in. You just want it to work out a little bit differently here, a little bit more on the fair side. The moon, there's uncertainty. Secrets, somebody has secrets. Hmm. Somebody isn't telling all. So this is going through a transition. You know what you want to hear, but you're not sure you're going to. Wow. The card that came out reversed. Three of Cups. The Three of Cups in the upright position is all about happiness, having a reason to celebrate. Generally, it's about engagement. Marriage, commitment. So for some of you, it feels to me like this is a committed relationship. It, I don't know if it's an engaged situation or a married situation, but it's, it's upside down. So it's, it's uncertain as to whether or not this is going to come back around or this is going to work. That's what I take from that. 
Let's clarify the Seven of Cups and find out just exactly what it is you do desire, Leo. What is it that you want from this situation? What is the Three cards. Five of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Queen of Cups. Now this could be your person. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Queen or King, because it is general. Hmm. The Queen of Cups, the energy of this card, is a whole lot like the Princess of Cups. It's all about intuition, utilizing your inner guidance system. Five of Pentacles is all about beaten and battered, beaten, battered, and bruised. Look at these people. They've been through the ringer. This still does not tell me what you want as an outcome because it's, it's a very difficult situation, obviously. And with the two of wands here, this is about the need to make a decision. It is, it's also very much about being in the um, planning and strategizing phase. So, like I said, you want you want to be successful moving this in the direction you want it to go in. Now, whether that means you want it to come to an end, but you want it to be an amicable end, or you want it to come back together, but you are utilizing your intuitive abilities, or that's what you need to do. There's a lot here about um, going within. The Four of Swords, the girl in the Four of Swords, she's contemplating. Four of Cups, she's reflecting. The Princess of Cups is the Goddess of Soul. The star card is all about hopes, wishes, and it's a major arcana card, so it's all about divine. Okay, we didn't get our answer there. Let's go to the star card and see just exactly what it is you're hoping for. Why is the star card here, angels? What is it that Leo is hoping for? Thank you. Only one card this time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we are clarifying the star card with the star card. That does not help me. Let me get another card on the star, please. Thank you. Ah, the truth. You want to cut through all the crap and get to the truth. You want some clarity in this. And look at this. Queen of Swords. I wonder if you are even talking to this person. There's maybe no communication and that's what you want. 
You want the communication, but you want the truth. That's why you've got the moon up here. Someone's holding back. Someone isn't being completely honest. Hmm. Someone is not communicating the truth. And that's what you want. That's what you're wishing for. That's what you're hoping for. You want to know the truth in this situation. But what is the situation? Um, let's clarify the Six of Swords, please, and find out what this transition is. What is the transition that Leo is in the middle of here, please? waiting. Three of Wands. Thank you, angels. So you're just waiting, waiting this out. You're waiting to see, one more card please, angels, on the Six of Swords. You're waiting to see what comes back. You've given and now you want to see what comes back. <laughs> king of Swords. Now you have the King and the Queen of Swords on the board here, so to speak. This is definitely a soulmate connection. I don't have the Twin Flame card, any of the Twin Flame cards, but this tells me that this is definitely uh, a deeply connected soulmate relationship. But you're waiting to see if, if they man up, so to speak. And now it, it could be a female that needs to come forward with the truth. That, you know, reverse this if you need to, Leo. It is general, so it could be that your person, if if you're a, a male, your female, your counterpart, or, you know, whatever, your counterpart is waiting for the truth. Somebody here knows that they haven't been given the truth in a situation. And they're just waiting. You've given. Somebody has... has been generous in this situation and given what they need to give. Let's see what that is. Maybe, maybe you, Six of Pentacles, Angels, please, maybe you have been very generous with your emotions, your feelings, what you're thinking, what it is you want, and you're just waiting for them to come back with the truth of what they want and the direction they want to move in. Or the other way around, Leo. It could be your person's waiting for you to be honest and upfront. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Thank you, angels. You're tired. You've given and given and given and given, and you've worked on this. Somebody. Again, I'm reading for you, Leo, so I'm going to read it like it is you. If you need to flip it to be your person, flip it to be your person. But it feels to me like you have given and given and given. And like I said in the beginning, there's no reciprocity. You've been doing all the giving. They've been doing the taking. And you're tired. You've done all you can. You can't give anymore. And I think you've expressed that. I think you've expressed it, and now you're waiting. You're just moving forward, waiting to see what 
comes of this. The Prince of Wands, the God of Conflict. Let's clarify that and find out what the conflict actually is. Why is the Prince of Wands here, angels? Please. Wow, we've got the Nine of Pentacles again. So the conflict can be finances. It can be about independence. Maybe your person is controlling and you don't want to be controlled anymore. Um, Nine of Pentacles also represents Virgo. So, and you've got it down here too. So maybe it's an inner conflict for you. Maybe those of you, because I did feel that some of you are looking outside of a current situation. And maybe this is the other person. The fact that you have the Seven of Pentacles here, it, it makes me feel like you have given and given and given. And maybe you've been giving financially in some way. Maybe you've been paying everything. Maybe you've been the one to divvy up and, you know, you're done being the spender, so to speak, in this relationship. And you're waiting to see if they share the responsibilities. It's, it's interesting to me, though, that you have the Nine of Pentacles directly across from each other. Okay, anyway, your second card is the Chariot. You're stuck. You're not moving. This deck, in this deck, the uh, Sphinxes, one's black, one's white, as you can see, they also are stone. They're not going anywhere. And you can tell by looking at the man that he's not moving. He, he just looks like he's standing there. The fact that the Sphinxes are two different colors, that's no harmony. There is opposing energies there so that's the conflict there is a conflict around the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is all about financial independence and or independence in a, a love reading it generally represents being on your own but in a general reading it represents financial independence and it's just, you know, you've got the Seven of Pentacles over here. It could have been the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands would have told me that you're exhausted. You're burdened, you're overwhelmed, you're exhausted. But the Seven of Pentacles came out. So it makes me feel that for some of you, this has got to do with money. You've been doing all the spending. And it's on the Six of Pentacles, which is a balance between give and, and take. So you've been doing all the giving, maybe you've been doing all the spending, some of you, and you're just waiting for Okay, this just popped into my head. Some of you have been doing all the giving, you're tired of doing the giving, you've done all you can and you want to transition out of this situation. But you're waiting. Maybe some of you want to transition out of this, this partnership, but you're waiting on figuring out the finances. It could be a marriage or common law situation and maybe you want to make sure you get 
your fair share. You want to make sure you get your what's rightfully yours out of this before you make that shift. And so now you're in this situation of just pausing and maybe you are separated. But when it comes to the divorce, say, or the actual ending, you know, maybe you're separated, you're living in separate homes, but you haven't actually spoken of ending it. There is a lot of talk of transitioning, transformation, rebirth, uncertainty. This, this reversed Three of Cups can represent a marriage coming to an end or a committed relationship coming to an end. And the Two of Cups basically just represents that it is a romantic partnership. So this isn't in business. It's all about a romantic partnership. And you're doing some soul searching in a big way, doing some reflecting, wondering, did I make a mistake? Did I make the right move when I got into this, this partnership? Wow. Um, hmm. I hope that's for a very small number of you. Because for the rest of you, it feels like there is, there is conflict in a romantic relationship here, but there is hope that it can be worked out. Okay, bottom of the clarifying deck and now part of your overall energy, Three of Pentacles. That is all about sharing the workload. It's all about working toward, working with others toward a similar goal. So you're soul searching reflecting on whether or not you made the right decision. Maybe when you married this person or you made the right decision in separating. You're wondering what you do now. Do you continue to work on this? Let's get a synchronicity oracle card, please, angels. Thank you. misses you. So for some of you, for some of you, this situation that you're in, that you're separated from, that you, you know, if you're married or committed, living together, whatever, and now you're separated, that could be your twin that you're separated from. For others of you that have this other person that you're thinking about, that you're wanting to move in the direction of, that could be your twin. Regardless, you have a twin out there somewhere. Hmm. Whew. Okay, let's get a Just Ask Oracle card. Please and thank you. 
Okay. Wow. If you were uncertain before, they love you deeply. Now, again, this could be the twin that you just separated from. It could be the twin that is the other person that some of you have been thinking about and wanting to move toward. Jeepers. This is feels like a very uh, intense situation here. Uh, decision, definitely. There are decisions here that definitely need to be made in order to move forward. So let's get a little bit of guidance here for Leo, please, angels. What can we tell Leo about this situation? Please and thank you. Thank you, angels. Now I have to tell you, Leo, that if you don't regularly watch my channel. You don't know that when I shuffle and the cards fall out, they have to fall out for me to take them, first of all. But second place, I don't take any more than three cards when they fall out because I think anything more than three cards, it's just a big clump of cards that because of my shuffling have fallen out. And I want to make sure that the cards that come out are definitely meant for you. Uh, four times... I've, you know, by the time you're watching this, I've edited things out of the video. Four times, four cards came out, flew out together. Four times. Now you have the Four of Cups here and the Four of Swords. Any more? But when it happened, they drew my attention immediately to the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. And then four times, four sets of cards came out. Four different times, four cards flew out. And I had to put them back in the deck. And the message that came out with that was, this situation is rocky because there was never a stable foundation built. The foundation isn't solid in this situation. Um, this, this relationship was built on a flawed foundation. Now, does that mean it needs to end? Go within. Follow your inner guidance system. You have all the answers inside you. You already are soul searching, and if you're not, you need to be. Reflect. Go within, reflect, and figure this out. Because at the very least, what you need to do is tear this down past the foundation. Rip that foundation up and build a new one, either with this person or with somebody else because that's why it's not working properly. It, it, the time wasn't put in to build the foundation properly. And maybe part of the problem for some of you is that maybe this went really fast, this situation, this relationship. Maybe from the beginning it just moved really quickly. And you didn't, you didn't take the time to see if there was a solid foundation here before you moved into commitment. So I'm sorry to say that for some of you, I think this is not what you thought it was going to be and it is going to end. For others of you, there is, it is your twin. There is a lot of love here and this can be worked out. Now, the guidance that came out in the Sacred Traveler deck here is great adventure. Take a risk and venture forward. This is about taking that leap of faith. This is 
with the Seven of Pentacles here, this is also very much a card of divine timing and being divinely guided. You are being divinely guided, and this is all about divine timing. And this is all about taking a leap of faith. Move forward. Transition into this new cycle that you're moving into, whatever that means for you. It's going to be different for all of you. Wandering path. Enjoy the journey. That is what it's all about, really. Just being happy, enjoying your life, laughing, living, loving. Not, not heartache, not hardship, not, not, not being heartbroken. It's about being happy. It's about moving in a direction of peace and love and enjoyment. Now, <laughs> moving from Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Cups, your dreams, your desires, your wishes, everything you want. The energy around you is not going to allow you to move in that direction. You're not going to have wish fulfillment with this energy. When you're in a negative vibrating mode, which negative emotions, even if they're in you, you're trying not to project them to the outside world. You're coming across as Mr. or Miss Happy all the time. They're still inside you. They're a part of you. They're a part of your energy. And therefore, it's what's going out to the universe. And when that vibration goes out to the universe, you, because it's your emotion, that's the attraction. The magnet is your emotion. Your thoughts are the electrical impulse that goes out but your emotion is the magnet so if that's where you're at this is where you're at here that's the vibration you're putting out you're just going to get more of that back so if you would like some help in knowing what it is you can do be think and or feel to change your vibration so you can attract exactly what you want the outcome to be Click the link below and we'll ask that question in the extended. Those of you that are going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that aren't, I wish you all the best. All the love to you, Leo. You will figure this out. Go within. Love you guys and I'll see you next time.